I'm Chris. And I'm Austin. Welcome to Topper Nation News. time we were here, well, it's, it's most certainly been a while since we've been here with you, but don't need to worry. We still got the, all the good stuff for you, what's happening here at Hillwood. First, we got the word of the day, which is apply, and that basically means to be relevant. Also, tell them about a couple things that's happening at school. Tomorrow, the Hillwood Toppers take on Hillsboro at 7 o'clock to make sure, to see if they can, if Hillsboro beats us, they make the playoffs. If don't, if not, they don't. Hopefully, we go out there because we can just take them out. Because I, I don't, we got a little rivalry against them, and I hope I just hate to see them win. And also, into sports news for school, the basketball jamboree has been rescheduled to November sixth, which is on a Monday, and not November tenth. Trials is October thirty first at two thirty after school. Meeting Coach Dodson. Now we're going to send it to Evan and Wyatt. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Wyatt. I'm Evan. Let's, uh, I just want to start off by um, having a bit of sad news, and that is, of course, about Blade Runner, who is sad because um, with the release of Blade Runner, it was so hyped, so well received, critics loved it, but when it came out, it pretty much flopped. It really did. Um, the budget was about $150 million, and Jay Jess made, now made back with 159 That was with foreign markets, so... It sucks too, cause I've heard so much, so many much good stuff about that movie. I mean, it's a two-hour movie. It's gonna be hard for people to like schedule time to go see it. We aren't used to that, but it's yeah. still really good. Yeah, it's still really like, good. It sucks, man. It sucks. What else has happened uh, while we were gone? Well, yeah, fall break. Just we just got back from fall break, and yeah. uh, we got a new Star Wars trailer that dropped yeah. recently. Yeah, um, well, looks really good. It really did. We got a, I think, a new animal character in it. Uh, I'm getting some hints towards uh, Empire Strikes Back on this one. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Absolutely. You know, the last one being so similar to New Hope, you'd think they'd do something different, but I don't know. It looks very it looks unique. I'll give, I'll give it a chance. I, I'm yeah, sure you got to give it a chance. Let's head back to Chris and Austin for more sports. Well, guys, thank you for that. So now we're going to talk about sports in the NBA. He just had his first day, first day back, and we had a couple of uh, – a couple of good games to watch, especially both leading to a both being a thriller. Came down to the last shot. But first, let's talk about the Cavs and Celtics. I think that it was the game to watch. LeBron James, you know, ready for the big game. Kyrie returning home. Well, sad night for the Celtics as well, as to go along with the with the loss in the stat book. It happened to Gordon Hayward. Yeah, we have a gruesome injury. Yeah, we have we have film. So if you're squeamish, please look away. Probably hit the biggest shot in Cavs history. They're going up. Oh my goodness. Hayward came down so hard. Okay. Hayward broke his leg. Hayward has broken his leg. Hayward has broken his leg. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And that is how quickly. Yeah, what a, that's, that's heartbreaking, especially after you just got a big contract to play in a new city where you felt as if you had a good chance to make it to the to the championship, win the finals. So You know how them jazz people are feeling. Yeah, per, prayers up to him. Hashtag you shouldn't have left. <laughs> and now we're going to the Warriors game where we have the Rockets, the Rockets versus the Warriors. The Rockets have a new look. They got Chris Paul in the Houston uniform. Yeah. And a lot of people said that was going to be tough because Chris Paul is a point guard. James Harden was playing point guard last year. So they thought it would be tougher for them to like both have the ball in their hands. But Chris Paul actually said he doesn't mind sharing the point guard role because he, he didn't like having the ball in his hands all the time at L.A. So he, he just likes to be on the wing and, and shoot a lot more. I think Chris Paul is going to eventually thrive into in this role as he starts to develop himself more into the, what the team is doing, interpret to himself, you know what I mean? I think that they're going to get him more open looks. Trevor Reza with James Harden, you know, being able to create off the dribble, I think that he'll be fine and he'll be able to locate his open shooters, especially with Chris Paul being a 38% three-point uh, three shooter. I think that it'll be easier for him to get open looks and even Chris Paul if he Clint Capella more. 
Oh, we have film, so here we go. On to the highlights. Gordon made the move. Bell stops. Eric Gordon with the acceleration. It's tied at 24. Three minutes to go in this first quarter. Marv Albert, Chris Weber, David Aldridge. Opening night in the NBA and a three-pointer by Nick Young. Again on a good hustle by Paul. And that hold for a final shot of this first quarter. Down to 10 seconds. Harden met by Curry. Final seconds of the first. Here's Harden. Yes. With three tenths of a second remaining in this first quarter, Harden able to hit. So Golden State leading by as many. And, and look at Harden. He's putting you in a trick bag. Kids, you see how he's attacking that top foot? And he still gets to his spot. Knowing that with Curry on that side, he'd get more space. Capella rejected by Durant. And then he knocks it off Capella and out of bounds. That's why he could be one of the best two-way players in this league. Because of Kevin Durant's presence, they lead the league in shot blocking, or they did last year at over two a game. Space in the floor. Look for him to work the pick and roll. Here's Draymond. With the alley -oop. Beautifully set up for the rookie Bell. Space in the floor. Look for him to work the pick and roll. Here's Draymond. With the alley -oop. Beautifully set up for the rookie Bell. Good game here in our own David Aldridge has reported that Draymond Green will not return tonight. He's injured with the left knee strain. One point shy of a triple-double. Nine points, 13 assists. He hits one of two. Warriors hitting their free throws. 19 to 21 overall. The four-point Golden State lead. Gordon lost the grip. Shot clock down to, down to two. There's a reason for three. But Paul will look to put it in play. Livingston. Played by Ariza. Curry. For three. Livingston on the back top. Played by Curry. Gets to the rim. He fires. He scores! It will count! Well, that must have been a sad night for KD. As he thought he hit it. Oh, well. I'm <laughs> glad they lost. <laughs> well, anyways, back to Evan and Wyatt for more news. Well... We got some more Star Wars news, and that is there is a new Han Solo movie. So, a Han Solo solo movie. I've heard rumors about it, but yeah. do we get a name for it? Uh, it's called Solo, a Star Wars story. Very in the same reign to uh, Rogue One. Awesome. Uh, it's being directed by Ron Howard. He's a acclaimed actor and director. He's done things like A Beautiful Mind, Apollo 13. He was in Happy Days, Andy Griffith Show. The man's, really? a, he, the man's an accomplished guy, you know. And I have faith that he can... Do the do the movie Grace, you know? It has a, a lot of good actors. Donald Glover's in it, you know? Yeah, really? Yeah, he's, uh, I think he, I, I think he's Lando, actually. What? Yeah. All right. He's a great actor, though. I'm down. Okay. So, uh, on with more movie news, uh, we got a release date for Thor Ragnarok. It's right around the corner. Yeah. Uh, November 3rd, you could see uh, the new Thor movie in theaters in your area. Be on the yeah. lookout for it. You know, I'm kind of a bit shaky on that movie, because, you know, I like the whole Guardians of the Galaxy aesthetic they're going for, but I'm not sure if it's the right fit for Thor. I think the first two were good. Yeah. I think this one, it adds, it has some much needed comedic relief to yeah, it that, yeah. that the Thor series Some character, needs. yeah. Yeah, I like that. Because they were always a bit too serious. Uh, that's all, that's it for us. Let's head back to Chris and Austin. Well, Tennessee will be in shock this weekend as they play Alabama and some NCAA news. Mm -hmm. I think Alabama's going to beat them by 70. Tennessee's not even going to score. Don't tell Coach Sparkman this, but I smell something fishy. You know, it smells like a blowout. Well, we're going to do this with Brandon. Shout out to the O, Ohio State. Uh, I'm a Michigan fan. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, on the other things, our season coming up. Yeah, basketball season is slowly approaching, slowly but surely approaching. So be out on the lookout as we go to state this year. Our first game is on the ninth against USN. I hope to see you there. But that's all we got for this edition of Topper Nation News, and we'll see you next time. Chris out. And I'm Coach Burton. <laughs>